All right, the van is getting a much needed bath. Look at this stuff. Wash. Me. <laughs> We're about to van, don't worry. All right, we found a place to give it a bath that also happens to be one block from the grocery store. So we're headed for a restock. All right, we are winding down, getting it finished. Woohoo, look how shiny it is. Nice. Over here, look at that. We even did some work up underneath the chassis. Let's go around, get all that caked on mud and dust and any rocks. There we go. She looks pretty. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, it's time to get on the road. We've come through a little bit of rain on our drive. We're probably halfway to where our campsite will be. But we have reached a little pull-off on the side of the road with a sign that says Cascada. They have a uh, some sort of a um, sanctuary kind of built here. The Virgin of the Cascada. And here it is. They were right. It is right by the road. And it's pretty. We've also entered back into a green area. Got pretty flowers, lots of green. Now along the road so far, we have seen a ton of waterfalls along the road on the mountainside. Big ones, little ones. But we can get you up close to this one. All right, Snow's feeling crazy. I don't think it wise. She wants to climb on these rocks. Here, climb on that one. That one's a good, uh... <laughs> there she goes, she made it up there. Kind of. So, we just left a double drop Cascada along the side of the road. I think it was the Virgin Cascada. Yeah, really pretty. Really, really pretty cold. place. <laughs> we got wet in the uh, spray of the waterfalls and snow had fun climbing around the rocks. I like rocks. And to be honest, I just went down by the river and just listened to the water and the rocks. The water here is so clear. It is indeed cold, but it is like crystal clear. And we've left there and we are on the Carretera Austral, the scenic route up through sort of southern Chile. And we're coming along this, how would you describe it, Snow? Sort of a canyon, like a canyon we're coming yeah, up through here? Like a skinny valley. Like a skinny valley. We're along a river. We're following a river in the bottom of the mountains is exactly what we're doing. So we have these big scenic different mountain looks on the side and the sun came out and lit it up but now I see some clouds but all the different lighting gives us a bunch of different colors and visual effects and then down in this canyon on the flat spots again it's farmland and we saw up where they were growing all the hay so we're seeing lots of cattle so clearly that hay is to feed the cows over the winter uh, and right along this giant cliff face there's just a river running right along down beside it can't quite get a good shot of it but the water does look crystal clear and a bit blue Oh, these beautiful Andes Mountains. Oh, I have missed them. <laughs> this is a bit sentimental because our time in these things is definitely winding down. All right, we reached our camp spot, potential camp spot, and snow is out here working the details. Have you guys been watching? Normally, this is my task. 
I took a pass and Snow sought this place out, said it was really good. Good morning, everyone. It's a cool, brisk morning here in this Chilean valley up in the mountains. And I got out and I saw some lapwings fly over. And we first started seeing these birds all the way up in Brazil. We didn't even know what they were. But we've been watching these birds for a long way and really probably one of the most common birds we see around down here, picking around in the pastures and the farmland and stuff. But everywhere really, but they, <laughs> when they see you or hear you, they'll all chatter and let everybody know someone's around. And I think right now they're out here in this field pecking for worms. And if you notice, they'll walk along and they'll take a couple steps and then with their foot, their paw, their claw, they'll just shake the ground. <laughs> or, and I suppose maybe they're trying to stir a worm or something or maybe hear it, not sure. But it's definitely a distinctive hunting pattern that they display, it's really cool. A lot of times as you're driving by, you don't notice those behaviors, but then when you slow down and take a closer look, it's really always kind of pleasant what the nature reveals. We've been at this camp, uh, La Margarita, just outside of a small town, maybe an hour south of Quaylet National Park, for a few days. Now, either we have entered into rainy season or a rainy area or there's just a crazy front coming through because it's been raining for three days but we needed a break caught up on some editing it has been a really nice very comfortable camp set here at the bottom of a beautiful mountain with little chickens and sheep running around now they have these great little cabanas over here where people can actually set their tents up inside the internet's been reasonable. They have a nice little room over there that is a kitchen with a wood stove in it to keep the tent people warm. The family that runs the place is incredibly kind. And the super exciting part about this place, because if you remember, our hot water heater is out. So we can shower in the van, but it's not quite a cozy shower. But in here, this camp has nice, clean bathrooms and showers. Let me show you what a good campsite shower looks like. All right, this is the women's shower. Ooh, I'll turn on the light. And there's two showers in here. Nice little shower hooks, a chair, and a legit rug and they're clean. It's not always normal, guys. Sometimes there's no hook to hang your towel, and these are decent sized, a little narrow, but plenty wide. And my favorite part is they get hot. So over here on this side is the bathrooms, but the bathroom in our van still works. It's just the cold water <laughs> that's making us find campsites that have good showers along the way till we can get that hot water heater fixed. Across the street there is a little restaurant, but it has not been open while we've been going. This has been a very peaceful campsite, one we will highly recommend on iOverlander. A little bit expensive, but that seems to be normal here in Chile. $14 a night for both of us and the van. Van is on the dash. We're pulling out of this camp. It was a good resting spot, especially with the gloomy weather. Nice relaxing in the zona de camping. But we're headed to this small little town, which we do not know the name of, I'll tell you when we get there, to find some chicken and some veggies and some fruits. We need some vittles. And then we'll probably find a restaurant for lunch before we head north. Kurt has headed into the carniceria to try to get us some chicken. Next up, we'll be looking for a verdura, which is the vegetable store. 
Kurt scored some frozen chicken in the carnisseria, which is not ideal, but better than nothing and good for an emergency backup if we can't find anything else. What else did you get, Kurt? Uh, I got some eggs. I eat eggs every day, so I got 12 farm fresh eggs. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So now, verdura. <laughs> we need veggies and or a fruit, fruitaria, fruitaria. Yeah. Yep. Look at this find. Bananas, which with the situation in Ecuador are rare, or is a rare find down here. Red peppers, mushrooms. Are those spicy peppers it's, for you? And we got some ginger. What? And lettuce. <laughs> this was a good stop. I read about this place on the Google. And it's supposed to have the best hot chocolate in South America. We shall see. It was closed, so we're going to head back into the little town, find the little restaurant, and eat. No best hot chocolate in South America for me. I didn't eat it anyway. Alright, restaurant number two. La Cocina Yusef. Let's see what they got in here. Well, we did it again. We ordered food, dove right in, and it was yummy, so you guys didn't get to see it. I had a baked chicken with some mashed potatoes. Kurt had a loma, which is a very lean steak with an ensalada and some papas fritas. Was yours good, Kurt? Mine was delicioso. Mine was too. Sometimes these little small mom and pop places on the side of the road can really knock it out of the park. And that was some really good chicken I just had. And the mashed potatoes were tasty too. But it is time to get on the road. While we were in there, we took advantage of the Wi-Fi and we've picked out our next camp spot and our next adventure. All along this Carretera Austral, there are so many amazing views. As we cruise through this valley here in the Andes Mountains, well, we've had a rain for the last couple days and as you look up on the mountains, you can just little, see little waterfalls all over the place, like waters just pouring off the side of the mountains. I mean, there's so many. Can't even count them. The rivers are a rage, a raging due to all this rain. And we have seen it just pouring off the mountainsides. I don't even know if they're officially waterfalls, but today there are. And they, <laughs> these mountain ridges are just lined with water just pouring off almost everywhere you look. It is amazing. All right, we decided since there was a pull up, ooh, condors up there flying over the top of the mountain. There was a pull off, which is rare on this road because it's through the mountains and it's amazing enough that they were able to build this road. But there's a map so we can show you where we are. So Chile Chico, that's about where we crossed the border back into Chile, drove around, saw the marble caves here, came up through here. This is where we got the alternator fixed. Woo hoo! Thank you, Luis. And now we're driving up. Our campground and our grocery shopping adventure was right here. So I would say we're probably right in here somewhere. We are headed here for anybody that wants a spoiler alert. We'll be taking you to a national park. But that's that's where we're at. And I guess this is the region of Aysen, A-Y-S-E-N. So that's kind of cool, a nice little map. But it is raining and I had the camera, so I'm coming under this little shelter they have built. And just look out there, guys. Waterfalls everywhere you look. All right, the three circling condors did go away a little bit farther, but they seem like they might circle back. There was some other kind of birds, geese or something, cranes flying overhead. And with this backdrop, you can't help but pull out the big camera and hope they come back.
are heading upwards and onwards and this is fairly new construction through here the area before this didn't even have the yellow stripes on here but something interesting on these sharp hairpin curves they've actually painted the lane red so I guess red is danger meaning this is a super sharp corner you better slow down I thought that was so and I both thought that was a really good safety feature there's our road builder coming out sorry <laughs> <laughs> once a road builder always a road builder even if you turn to a van lifer <laughs> All right, this story just took a major turn. That sucks. We just hit the end of a pavement sign. And you guys have seen all the water just pouring off the mountains. Here we go, guys. Welcome to the Andes. Show them what we're coming up on. And we got this right here. A, many, a messy, messy, messy set of switchbacks coming up. I tell you what, this is like deja vu. These Andes Mountains, all of a sudden you're riding along and you get to the scariest bits. You got no idea it's coming. Mm. The only thing missing is fog. I hope I didn't just jinx us. All right, we have a stop and go panel now. I will tell you, a couple minutes before we got on this gravelly road, someone was really flashing their lights at us. And uh, of course we didn't understand why. And this is that switchbacky area. And at the start of it, there's a construction crew here with uh, stop and go paddles. Not sure if you can see it, but in the drainage set just to the right of us it's full of water and yeah you can see where the water coming down they're just trying to keep it cleaned up get it cleaned up to let the water flow so fortunately it's not a landslide but I think they're trying to prevent one right here just kind of come out into an open area with a huge body of water on the left and that means we're extremely close to our camp spot so we made it to camp the sun is coming out you guys know that the water always makes my heart just happy my soul shines and we are by the water 
but wait till you see the reveal of the whole campsite. Now, if we're lucky, we might see dolphins swimming out in this water. We will be keeping an eye out, but watch this. Not only are we parked by the water, we have an epic, epic view. The sun came out and is shining right in our window. The kitties are chilled out and relaxed. Wow. What a beautiful wild camping spot. Right on the side of the Caratera, Austral. What's up? We made it. Home sweet home. <laughs> All right, guys. This is where we're going to wind this video down. Cheers, guys. We'll see you in a few days from somewhere else epic. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.